Hi, my name is Cass Kramer and I'm the co-founder of Sasquatch Expedition Campers here in Silverton, Colorado. And we've got a smuggler that I'm going to go through the, the outside exterior of it, show you some other features. Uh, we'll start with the arc articulating two inch hitch. Um, this will take a two inch uh, ball, which is really nice. Uh, no special tools to hook it up. Got a hand pull parking brake. Uh, super handy uh, when you want to position this thing where you want it. Got the trailer breakaway switch. Uh, engages your brakes <clears throat> if you have any issues while you're towing it, as well as the um, arc tongue jack. You get the um, the 750 or the XO version of this uh, installed. The XO is super nice. Uh, up here in the front tongue box, you got three bulkheads. One's a pass-through port. If you've got some AC power, you want to run into the inverter, uh, you can pass it through and um, have your whatever you're running uh, powered up with the tongue box doors closed. Got your shore power input. Uh, you plug in your AC power and charge the battery. And you can also charge the battery uh, with the solar panel input bulkhead right here. Uh, with select models, we supply a 25 foot uh, solar panel leads as well as uh, two 100 watt panels um, that you can easily hook up. Inside the tongue box, uh, you got two doors. Each one has independent light controls and you got your power switch right here, supply power to the trailer. We've got a cargo rack. Um, firewood is the most common thing that I see people put up there, but anything that you can strap down with these strap points, uh, we've got one for a hook as well, uh, will fit nice and snug up there and it stays up there pretty good. Up top, we've got the shower curtain mount. Um, this has a locking draw latch that you can unhook and open up. We have a shower curtain on that side of the trailer. We got our cargo area here. It's we've got a door with two compression latches, help seal up um, against this seal right here, keep water uh, and dirt outside of your trailer. We've got two switches, one for the exterior light and one for the interior light. Interior light has switch controls on both sides. You can see in the back there, there's a AC outlet plug. It's connected to your inverter. And up front, we've got two DC plugs one side is AC, one side is DC. Uh, got an aluminum bed line floor. Uh, it's a 62 inch by 48 inch footprint. And you got 52 feet of total interior storage. On the side here, you've got two side boxes, a full size and a half size. Uh, this guy I call the captain's box. And you can store uh, you know, smaller items in here. Super, stuff, super handy stuff that you want to have access to. You got your larger box. On this side, um, all boxes have independent light controls in them. Uh, so you can, if you want to just get into one of them, you don't turn all the lights on. Um, I love the extra storage too that you have when you get to campsite. Just open up these boxes and start putting stuff right here. If you wanted to, for any reason, to disconnect, you've got these carabiners that you can take off uh, and let the box hang down if you wanted to be in a tight space or get close to it. Um, your choice. And you just go right back on here. Coming around to the back side, a full size spare, two inch receiver if you want to put a spare tire, or sorry, a, a, a bike rack in here. Um, what's nice about the um, hitch mount on the spare tire rack is if you do have a bike rack or something here, you can open up the spare tire, access your kitchen um, without having to take it off. Super handy. Coming around this side, got your fill ports for your water tank, 36 gallon water tank. Gravity feed, city water. Um, city water will bypass the water tank, pressurize your kitchen. Got two half size propane tanks. And then you got two more side boxes. And up top, you got what we call the expedition rack. And this rack is made to hold anything you can bolt down to it, both front and back, as well as these squares could be used uh, for strap points um, if you wanted to strap something to it. The front driver's side, small side box is where the on-demand hot water heater is located. We put this up here so you can have your shower controls um, on this door and have it right next to your shower enclosure up top. Uh, it comes with a shower head with a hose that you can run it right into your shower enclosure. And then on this side you've got another door to access your cargo area. Both sides have uh, thick fenders, thick running boards. You can step climb, 
sit on them, sleep on them. They're rugged. They're gonna, they're gonna hold up. Um, and these running boards, uh, thick aluminum tubing below them. Uh, they're made to last. That concludes the tour of the outside. Thanks guys for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you.